All right, wiper systems test. Front, pass, rear. Uh oh. That's a fail. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. I'm gonna address this busted, uh, I think it's a wiper motor actually. The wiper arm seems to be okay, but the motor doesn't get past about meh. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up, replace this wiper motor from the one from the Green Hornet WJ. And while I'm at it, I think I'm gonna take these apart and clean these up too. This is what holds the glass uh, struts in. And uh, yeah, we'll just uh, do some window glass stuff. Rear wiper, window glass video coming at you. All right, the meat and potatoes of this is gonna be right up in here. What we're gonna do is take down this nice little piece of interior. And to do that, we're gonna go get some screws out. One here, two, three, four, and five. All right. Here we go. We got a little one, about a one inch length screw. Another one incher. Come on, where are you? Oh, dropped it. Third, actually they're more like seven eighths, but who's counting? These are the long ones, I believe. There we go, long suckers up top. Okay, so that's our five. The rest is held in by clips. You know what, let's get these defrost wires out of the way. Just unclip this. There we go. Now we'll pull down on this baby and let the clips unclip themselves. Hope they don't break. I know I have door clips somewhere, but sometimes these are long, and I don't know if I have the long ones. Whoop, there you go. Well, looks like someone was up in here, so... I'll probably have to reattach this better. I wonder why they were in here. Did they attempt to fix this thing and it didn't work? I don't know. But what we're gonna do is gotta push on this harness. Come on, get this connector out. There we go. And now there's two screws up here. One and two. Those fasteners are 10 millimeter. Yeah. All right, just gonna lay this closed. For the time being, we could access our 13 millimeter screw in here. Pop on the 13 mil, take off the nut, and hopefully we can wiggle this off. Be a shame to have to employ a puller. That usually just kind of come on out. There we go. They're not pressed in too hard. Hey, all right. Pop off this little cap, it's plastic, don't break it. Most of them start to crack, so no biggie. And window, I think I have my wrench in here. Oh, here we go, got an adjustable. Nice, easy access with the hatch up. I like that. Turn this big, I guess it's one inch nut, perhaps. There, I got my hand on the motor. It's just gonna fall down, and you know what? <laughs> this thing wants to stay on the Jeep, so I'll just leave it there. That's fine. There she is. All right, here is the motor from the Green Hornet. This is the one I'm getting rid of. It's the exact same, it's a factory. So while I got it right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and shove her through this opening. Just like that. I'll put on my nut. Get the 
threads lined up very nice very nice and I'm not gonna go too hard maybe just a couple turns until it snugs up perfect and while I'm leaning into the trunk with the window open here are the screws <laughs> there we go and I'll just rest them in place they line up nice make sure they're not cross threaded now I'm gonna try using the phone as a mirror and I'm gonna go in lefty <laughs> trying to connect this plug there we go look at that hey haha <laughs> Yeah. Of course, I'm gonna turn a five minute project into a 35 minute project, maybe even more, because I don't like the way these look. These are very rusted, very ugly, and my, my little defrost wires don't work that great. Half this grid is, uh, is out, so I'm gonna just replace this whole glass from, uh, from the Green Hornet as well. Uh, all right, to get this glass off, uh, step one, remove the connections for the defrost. That is complete. Step two, we're going to go ahead and drop the good old struts. Looks like that's going to be a T. Today, Junior. Today, Junior! T27. I don't know where it is. I hate losing tools, but T25 found a different one. So, sometime today, I'm gonna have to go on a T hunt. Be gentle, you don't wanna bust the glass. Glasses oot. Hey, check out all these scratches on this flip glass inside. I wonder if that's why it doesn't defrost. This little uh, thermal conductor was severed probably in a million places, so that's why it's not conducting. Uh, there is stuff you can paint on to uh, maintain the continuity for this defroster, but I'm just going to swap it for now. Maybe one day I'll see if I can figure this out. Looks like the previous owner jam-packed this Jeep full of stuff and slammed the hatch closed or slammed the glass closed. That sucks. All right, got my new glass and I got two good glass screws with the rubber grommets still attached to them. And this glass has the little pistons. They got the struts still on them. So I'm just gonna gently, carefully, Try to line something up as best I can. Definitely helps to have a buddy because I can't see crap. If this glass was a little cleaner, I might be able to see something. Well, that ain't fun. No, it's not. Oh. <laughs> Better make sure that's in right because whew, don't need no false sense of security having this thing pop off on me. While I bend down and get the screw, it just dropped. Alright, getting these glass struts should help with the, uh, the balancing act of the glass. Don't forget your little washers. Let's start it by hand. Yeah, and the driver's side. Got my washer. Got this little piece of nylon in there too. I'll reuse that. Go, make sure it's not cross-threaded. 
And I'm gonna use a little lubricant. Make sure nothing seizes up in there. So this one is a T, what is this? This one's a T40. The stock ones I took off were only a T27. All right, gonna lube the little fasteners up top. Gonna soak some lube up in there. Get both sides. This is what may happen if you don't have lube. The, uh, the fastener will get stuck in its little tiny gnarled fitting that gets pressed into the hinge. Uh, try to avoid this. This, uh, this is hard to come back from. You'd probably have to crack this off on a vise and then epoxy it back into the hinge. Luckily I had a spare. My glass seems to be nice and centered, so I'm just gonna gently send this home. Do not go too tight. There we go. New glass in. These struts are new. Well, they're a couple years old, but they went unused on the Green Hornet for a while. So anyway, got to pop this off. Uh, since they're new, they should be strong enough to uphold the glass uh, individually, which is good because I'm going to go attack these one at a time. Just use that little pick to unclip them and this should be 10 millimeter fastener. There we go. Got it. There. Go clean this up and paint it. Gonna put my cap on, put my ugly side down. Well, that's easy right there. Gonna put on my wiper arm. And I painted the wiper arm too. So that looks nice. Still a little tacky. Hello, fingerprint. And now it's matte and textured. <laughs> And I went ahead and got a new Rain-X wiper, so that's cool. And got to put back on my little cap. That'll do it. And if your wiper doesn't exactly look like this, don't be dismayed. They made a couple different styles. This one has the whole cap on a hinge so as long as it's got this little hook that catches into the body you're all right all right my glass fasteners are painted but they're not cured but I'm impatient so I'm gonna do my best to install them without touching them let's see how it goes hey <laughs> all right Perfect. <laughs> All right. Wiper arms in, motors in, we got the glass struts taken care of, and the uh, little glass fastener is looking good. So, time to button this baby up underneath, and we could call it a day. Uh, I think I'm gonna get my adhesive spray. Good old 3M Super 77 wants to play today. All right, make sure your nozzle's clean. Just gonna give it a little spray right along the edge. This 
thing is old and warped. It's fighting me. But we'll get it. With the power of the Super 77. Didn't quite wait long enough this time around. See that stringy stuff? I could have given it a couple more minutes to tack. But she'll get there. That's pretty good for now. All right, before we reattach the panel, I wanna make sure we recover all these fasteners. And we're gonna make sure they're properly inserted into your trim, like so. And also like so. Here are the fasteners as follows. These are long ones. Uh, we got a green one over there on the bottom on each side, then yellow one. I don't know why they're different colors. Perhaps different colors are different grip strengths, I don't know, but uh, the bottom ones are green and yellow is up top. And then over up here, we have one, two, three, and four of these white Christmas tree fasteners. This is uh, ripped off, don't know where that went. I guess that was part of the previous owner's issue. Um, it's my issue now, so I'm without a fourth one. I do have another lift gate in the backyard another uh, piece of trim but this is much cleaner I'm just gonna stick with this one all right just gonna rest this in here and push it in place no super top secret way to do it just make sure that you're not catching your little uh, oh, thingies inside the wires for the glass glass wires don't want them in your way so, there we go. You line up your holes. Everything should just click right in place. There. All right, just five more screws to go and the job will be complete. I'll put them in in reverse order. One, two, three, four, cinco. <laughs> Sweet. And of course, we can't forget to attach our defrost wires. So here we go. One. And two. All right, now she's done. All right guys, that's gonna do it for my glass and wiper motor video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you picked up a few tips and tricks. I'm gonna let you go now and I gotta go find my hat. So yeah, that's it guys. Remember to like, remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next project. Peace. Sorry guys, I almost forgot to test it. My bad. There we go. Hey, the defrost is working. Better. <laughs>